Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So everything you see here I got off of Amazon except for the Q-tips and the scissors, but I'll link this kit down below as, as well as these eyelash pads. And yeah, that's everything that I used in this video. Okay, so that kit that I showed you, I will um, link it down below. Uh, I got it on, off of Amazon. So I did read the instructions prior to this and I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, first thing I'm gonna do is put some of this lash glue. It comes with this lash glue bottle right here. Woo. So I'm gonna put some of that onto the iPad. And I'm using uh, the size medium for my eyelashes. Um, the large ones, you would think like the larger it is, the more um, curlier, I guess you would say, curly your eyelashes would be, but I don't think that's the case. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do medium just in case. And actually, I might just even put it on my eye. Just to get it a little bit more sticky, because I really wanna make sure that this stays on. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this on, and you wanna get it as close to your lashes as you can. And I did trim this down. Um, on the sides to fit my lashes actually let's move this over a little bit so I actually that glue isn't that good for holding on to um, your eye sorry my floor creaks a lot but um, so I ended up going in with this duo glue here there's not very much left of it, but it's the clear kind. And that was able to stick onto my eye a little bit better. So I put a little bit here on this tip of this little tool that came in the in the kit. I don't really even know what it's for. But I'm gonna start brushing that on to the silicone thing here. That's what it says to do so that you can stick your Okay, I just wanted to say that this glue did not end up working. I ended up going to the glue that came in the packaging. I will show this next clip of me gluing the lashes up, but just so you know, I redid it all with the original glue that came in the packaging. Okay, now I'm gonna use this spoolie to... Oh crap. I think I left that glue on too long. It's like all dry now. I'm just using the other end of a Q-tip here. This is a lot harder than it seems. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit already and I just barely got my, my lashes glued down. So they are clumping a little bit right here as you can see, I'm going to try and uh, fix that because it was saying like if you have your eyelashes clumped like that, um, they will perm like that. So unless that's like a look you want you're going for, you want to try and separate them out. Okay, honestly, this is the best I could do because I had to take it off and redo the whole thing. So it is still a little bit clumpy, but it's whatever I'm not even tripping so the next step is to, to apply the perming solution and it says to go from the bottom to the middle but it says to not go all the way to the ends because I guess if you do that it'll ruin whatever you're trying to do so I'm just using the tip of the cotton ball or cotton q-tip brushing it on there. I'm going to get a little bit more. It doesn't feel like that's enough. And again, not going to all the way to the root. I mean to the tips. I'm like so scared this is going to get in my eye. I'm not even kidding. It's like scaring me. It smells like perming solution. It doesn't sting though. It doesn't like, it's pretty close to my eyeball and it's not like stinging. So I guess that's a good thing. Ugh. I feel like that was like really close okay and then with this it says to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or more depending on how thick your lashes are 
So, I mean, mine aren't like super thick, so I'm just gonna leave it on for 15 minutes, like it says. And then, uh, we'll move on to the next step. I have a hair right there that's like popping out, it's not sticking. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and I didn't, I don't think I showed you, but this is the perming uh, solution. So it's the little white bottle that goes on first. And I am going in now with the, oh, my hands are so dirty right now, with the uh, setting solution it says. And I'm gonna go in with a clean cotton, not cotton pad. Um, you know what these things are, whatever they are. and. I'm going to just, it says to do the same thing. So put it on like the, the, the root to the middle, trying not to go all the way to the tip of your lash. So this didn't like burn or anything the whole time. My eye feels a little dry, but other than that, like it's not hurting or anything. And I hope you can see what the hell I'm doing. I really hope this works, to be honest. I have like one little hair right here that's like popping out, just doesn't want to stay. So I'm hoping that one like actually gets permed. I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and I kind of messed up on the last step because it said you were supposed to wipe off the solution with a dry um cotton bud but i didn't do that before i put the setting lotion on so i'm hoping that didn't ruin don't mind my son he's in the backyard background yelling so i'm just gonna take take off what i had on there and then it says to go in with the um the moisture lotion moisture lotion and it says to put on there for five minutes and then to wipe away the access. I always say access, wipe away the excess. And then by that time it should be um, good to go. So I'm just gonna apply that. Oh, shit, I uh, like almost touched my eye, but it doesn't hurt, so. This has been really like nerve wracking to be honest. Another five minutes, we gotta wait. I'm sick of looking like a weirdo. I wanna look cute already. Okay, so it's been five minutes and at this point it says you can just detach um, from this, but it's still pretty sticky. So what I'm gonna do is, it came with this uh, cleaning solution. So I just put some on like a Q-tip again and I'm just gonna start like going over it to see if I can get the lashes to come off. See if I can take this thing off. It's still pretty stuck on here, so I don't want to like pull it off all the way. Oh my gosh, it's super stuck. Come on. They like do not want to come off of this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're super gooey. Okay, give me a minute. I'm gonna like clean off my eye with the solution and then I'll be back. That looks disgusting. Okay, I got as much as I could off. I think there's still a little bit of residue on my eyelashes. So this is it. What do you think? This is my eyelash without the perm. This is my eyelash with the perm. Without. With. And it gave me a lift. It actually gave me what I expected. I didn't think that mm. it would be like I would have brand new like thick lashes. I know my real lashes aren't that thick. So I knew it would just give it kind of a lift. So I'm going to do the other eye. Then I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. I have both eyes done and... I have to say that I really, really, really like it. Um, I do have mascara on, just so you know. But let me lean in here. There's still some um, residue from the glue on my eyelashes. I mean, on my eyelids. But this eye turned out way better than is this eye. As you can see, it's all clumpy and weird right here. I always have problems with this eyelash, anyways. Like whenever I curl it or anything. 
Um, but this eyelash came out way good. So it, it basically just looks like I've curled my lashes and I haven't. It's just like that. So I'm wondering how long this will stay, but definitely would recommend this. Um, this is the pink perming kit. Oh wait, eyelash perming kit, pink seal. Pink seal? Yeah. But like I said, I'll leave it down in the description box. Um, I would say that if you are wanting to do this at home, just be very cautious, do it at your own risk, and be very, um, you really need to read the directions and follow them to a T. It did come with the directions right here. Um, it does say when you buy the kit that these kits are meant for people who are professionally licensed to do this. But, but seriously, if you could save money to do this at home, um, why wouldn't you you know like even if i had to do this every few weeks i would do it it's worth it to me because then i don't have to wear then i don't have to wear like fake light eyelashes all the time so definitely a thumbs up i definitely really did like this and i do recommend it if it's something that you're wanting to do to just get curly lashes and not have to wear falsies all the time i think it turned out pretty good so anyways thank you again for watching my video today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.